Alright guys, so uh, my first appearance at USAPL Raw Nationals is in the books. I competed in the 83 kilogram weight class uh, in the junior age division, which is 20 from 23 years old. I turned 20 in June, and I had real high hopes for this meet, but injury is going into it, and like other stuff in life just prevented me from doing what I wanted to do, but you know, if, if you performed at your best and succeeded in everything you did every single time, you'd have no reason to push all that much harder in, in what I call my off season. And I have big goals for the next few years. And I'm telling you right now, before I'm 23, I want a national championship. And I'm, I'm gonna do everything in my power to uh, hit that, but I, I injured my glute and lower back going into this, so dead squats and deadlifts were just screwed up, and it was after losing like 15 pounds. But um, as you can see, my deadlift numbers took a real hit, and I'm in this off season. I'm going to be experimenting with how I pull, like incorporating pulling with uh, Olympic shoes, maybe after reading some like rib toe articles on that and possibly incorporating more sumo pulling and maybe using that as my primary pull, but we'll see. And guys, that experimentation is where like true champions come from, you know? And I'm I'm not like I did not do as well as I wanted to. I did not do as well as I could have. I didn't perform to my potential, but you know what? Like that's that, that's what gives me the drive to come back next year even stronger, come back the year after that even stronger, and come back the year after that even stronger. Because, um, you know, true strength isn't, it's not, it's not derived from what is just handed to you. It's, it comes from what you have to work, work at and work towards. And the, the like, tireless efforts people put towards something that's where that's where true satisfaction and true true strength and like true victories come from because it's the same way in school like i i took as some of you know i i work a full-time job i'm actually at it right now i i work alone so on my off time i can do stuff like this record a video or something while i'm not doing paperwork but um it's i i I'm working. I'm working this this 40 hour a week job. I picked up another one where I drive drive a limo for like concerts and bachelorette parties and whatnot. And I took summer classes. I took a total of nine nine credits over the summer. And I'm not one of those guys where intelligence naturally comes to them. I have to take time and study stuff. And I'm I. I was an, I'm naturally I'm naturally a pretty strong guy. I always have been because I was a real obese child. So I I don't know I I credit some of my strength from just eating like an idiot and sort of lifting weights when I was like in junior high. But um, it takes time for me. Like intelligence takes time and it takes dedication. And that. I, I got an A in, in all three classes I took, and that is incredibly satisfying. Just like I may not be the best power lifter right now, I, I may have not finished how I wanted to, I may have gotten beaten out by people that, by, by strong people who have worked hard for what they have. I'm not taking away anything from their achievements. There are some dedicated lifters, and there are some strong ass people in the 83 kilogram weight class don't get me wrong but that just give it gives me more fuel to add to my fire and it makes me want to work harder and it makes me want to get stronger and get better at what I do and that that's the beauty of this sport that's the beauty of any sport you know like your your failures are what makes you who you are. If if I if I ended up I, I ended up having to uh, scratch on my last deadlift attempt because my back just hurt it hurt and I struggled like hell on that 505. It didn't look like 
much of a struggle, but you can tell that it was slow and it just did not feel good. But that sucked, you know? And I honestly, I came away from that meet that night. I, I felt terrible about myself. I was upset and I just, I, I didn't feel good at the end of the day. But then after some introspective thought and stuff like that, I just want to get back into the gym. That, like, the day after, that Sunday when I went to watch the heavyweights lift, I was, after I saw the intensity that was there and after looking back at how I performed, I was just like, God, somebody get me some weights. I just want to do something, you know? I'm, I'm super sore right now, but even if I just go in and, like, foam roll and do, like, light bench with 135 or something or just try to work on form with deadlift despite my lower back being kind of annihilated I want to you know and that 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 hunger that someone draws from their inside like that that drive to reach success in any way that you could uh, define success because success for me it's going to be breaking 1400 a 1400 total in the 83 kilogram weight class and then once i do that it's going to be breaking a 1500 total and then it's going to be breaking 1600 and that or or top five top five finish in the nation and then it's going to be top three finish in the nation and then it's going to be number one finish in the nation and then it's going to be qualifying for worlds and so on and so on. It's it's all about building on your accomplishments. Even if a beginner athlete goes in there and is like, I wanna I wanna reach the two plate bench, the three plate squat, and the four plate deadlift. Okay, now I like I'm gonna put it put in the time, put in the hard work, get to those. Now what? Oh, okay. Now I wanna bench three plates. Now I wanna squat five and deadlift seven. It's it's about building on your goals, and I, I I know I don't have a big YouTube channel, but for anybody who takes the time to watch this, be be prepared for the next few years because I I I'm gonna be working full time. Um, I'm gonna be a full time student. I'm hopefully gonna get accepted to med school in two years, and I'm hopefully gonna be a national champion one day. You know. And you got, I, I may not be able to get a video up all the time, but when I do, um, I'm going to just show you guys what, what it takes to get there, you know? And so, sometimes what, what it takes to get there is not making a YouTube video, you know? It, it's, just, it's just give and take like that. And I'm, I'm going to work hard and... I'm gonna do my best, and that's all you can do. Cause you you get you get out of it what you put into it. And if I put in my best, put in my best for school, put in my best for making enough money so I can stay in school, and put in put in the best that I can towards my training and towards my nutrition nutrition. You know, I'll accept whatever life gives back to me. If it if it's if it's another injury and then I can't compete or something, knock on wood, you know, it just happens. It's life. You you just have to you have to face the adversities as you come to them and don't don't let them don't let them beat you down. Don't let them destroy you. Cause if you if you let them do that, then you're just gonna end up going through the motions for the next 40 years till you die, and and that's not fun. You know, but thank you for all the support all you guys have given me. Um, I love all you guys, and it was great meeting a bunch of people at Raw Nationals. Uh, I didn't do my best. I, I did my best, but I didn't do what I wanted to do. But next few years, I'm gonna gonna put a whole lot of hard work into this crap, and we'll take it from there. Uh, whether but prospective goals for nationals next year 545 squat 590 deadlift 340 bench
that's what I'm putting out there right now. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.